could say good morning, but it's 12, 12 12.20 p.m. just after lunch on Sunday, August 27th. I spent some time this morning, of course, doing the usual Sunday morning chores, but I also got my sweater, some granny squares, and other stuff blocked. I got the table cleared off except for the current sewing project. I spent some time winding up balls of yarn, putting them in their little yarn ball socks. So I have a tray right there of planned projects. Like all of that is like planned projects for the most part. Um, if I can keep myself from getting distracted, but you know, <laughs> that's the thing. Anyway. Good morning, everybody. It's 11.45 a.m. Monday, August 28th, I think. I think so. Uh, anyway, I have to go run to the office supply store really quick. Mondays, I don't usually like to leave the house or run errands. I didn't even put all my jewelry on, um, but I'm out of printer paper. I'm nearly out of ink and I need a couple other things. So we're gonna go do that. And then besides crocheting and trying to finish my sweater I'm currently working on, the only other thing I need to do is edit the vlog, which we all know how much I love that. I've already had a quick check-in call with my dad. He's doing good, getting ready for his October trip to Italy. And he's doing another trip this week for a short period. I got to take him to the airport Wednesday. Who knew the man would travel so much in his 80s? I mean, you know, <laughs> it's crazy. Anyway, it's all good. He's having fun, enjoying life as it should be. Hey, you all guys. Right. So vlog is edited and rendering, and then I'll get it uploaded real quick to YouTube. I got a little crochet binder full of favorite patterns, hints and notes that I can carry with me. I, I like that idea because it's customized to just what I need and want in my bag at any given time and I can change it up. Um, there's a lot of really great patterns out there you can get for free, but they have ads on them. I usually do that first, try it. If I don't like it, I don't pay for the one with no ads that I can print and stick in the binder. If I do like it, then I do. So um, there's been a couple that were not winners for me, but anyway. Now that that's done, I've consumed my bone broth, taken all my supplements, all of that jazz, eaten lunch. I hope I've eaten lunch. It's late. What time is it? 2.36. Not that late. Anyway, I'm going to sit and have some water and work on finishing up this current sweater I'm working on and then figure out which one I'm going to work on next. Yeah. All right. That's it for the minute. I'll be back. It's like 80 plus degrees out still. And I'm making sweaters out of wool. Y yeah, I know. Makes no sense. I'm aware. I gotcha. Mm hmm. All right, I'll so be We're going to head out and get some steps in. We always say, we're just going to do a quick one, just to the roundabout and back. And then we always do more. But I don't know. We'll see tonight. And Bob's got meetings on and off for different things until at least 7 30 tonight. It's only about six. I'm gonna go for a walk. So I did get some crocheting done. I'm working on a new sweater um, with some wool I bought online. And um, it's not as soft as the other wool, but it's pretty good. So anyway, before I get stuck into that project, let's go get some exercise because I sure, I did so well during COVID losing weight, getting healthier, reducing my meds. And then we went on vacation to Hawaii and yeah. So that was almost a year ago. And while I haven't gained all the weight back, I have gained a little bit of it back. And that in itself bugs the crap out of me. So I'm good at keeping my art on track for the most part. I'm bad about my health. So. We need to work on that. All right, let's go get some steps in and bonus, probably get some art inspiration and see what we can see, take some pictures. I'll be back. Hey guys, good morning. It's 10, 15 a.m. on Wednesday, August 30th, I think. Took my dad to the airport. He's on a California trip to visit family and my brother and people. 
and uh, anyway, I am running a couple errands on the way home. I want to try a local small chain thrift store for to see what kind of yarns they have. I've never paid much attention when I've been in there before because I'm usually in there for something else. But I heard a rumor that they might have one of my new favorite brands of yarn, which is Cascade. And um, yes, normally I like thrifting for yarn or, you know, buying it at, you know, resale shops and stuff like that. But I do buy new sometimes, but I, you know, getting to be where I'm really old and picky and I don't like working with acrylic all the time. I like the fancy, like Angora and wool and yeah. So anyway, but it's really expensive if you, if you buy it in a yarn only shop. I don't know what the prices are like over here. Uh, at Craft Warehouse, but we're gonna find out. So, let's go see. And I got a couple other things I've gotta do on the way home anyway, so. All right, I'll be back. Hey guys, good morning. It is August 31st, 9.04 a.m. to be exact. I and babysitting today, he's not coming until 11. I have a bunch of things to do, one of which is drop off some Amazon returns. So we're gonna do that first. And then I've got to schedule, write and schedule some posts for the Artsy Trio group. Before I forget again, because that was a thing. And... And, and, and. Always, always stuff. Once Junior went home, um, I uh, went back to work on my sweater and um, took a break for dinner and cleaned up the house and did some laundry. And Bob went off to a Masonic meeting and we did pretty good. I um, got to the part where we have to um, go under the arms and then um, sew the body and then you go back and do the sleeves because this is an all one piece kind of no seams kind of thing. Uh, anyway, let me turn the camera. There you go. It, this, these little pins are where, um, when I do the next row, that's where I do a chain to go under the arm. And uh, yeah, so far so good. I'm liking the yarn. I'm liking the pattern. I can see doing this pattern again. Um, whether I do long sleeves or I end up doing a shorter or three quarter length sleeve, I don't. I don't know. But the neckline is comfortable. It's a nice wide neck, and. Um, it's real easy to follow the pattern. Yeah, I really like it. I'll link it down below. It's from an Etsy shop. So anyway, yeah, that's what I've been doing with my evening. What about you? All right, I'll be back. Bob drove my car last night, so now I need to spend five minutes readjusting everything. The new truck we just bought has driver one and two presets which when one of you is over six feet and one of you is like five foot two, yeah, it's a good thing. So this Friday has just turned into a day of errands. <laughs> right now we're in the truck, in the car again, where I would say in the car again, in the truck again. Um, when we bought the truck, they couldn't find the second key fob and um, they said they'd keep looking for it and they did find it. So we also discovered that the windshield wiper fluid um, nozzle. nozzle is uh, disconnected or has a leak or... It's disconnected, so... Yeah, so we're gonna take it in, they're gonna fix it real quick and we're gonna get the spare key. And I spent this morning running a bunch of errands and it's a good thing I'm just planning on staying home tomorrow because I think I'll be working on my sweater tomorrow. I don't think I'm going to be working on it today at all. But, you know. Well, you know, take a break. Yeah. My hands might appreciate it. Yeah. So, all right, I'll be back. So, we went to the dealership. They found the spare key. They indeed had it. They fixed what was wrong with the wind windshield um, wiper fluid. Um, took like five minutes. And then on the way home... We saw some... Idiots in cars. Yeah, we should have a dash cam. I told Bob that I might have to get him one for Christmas. We saw somebody who was being stupid and making an illegal lane change, run safely, smacked into another car, almost smacked into us and a car in front of us, and kept driving. 
I didn't have my phone out, but yeah, I did call the police and let them know we saw it. Anyway, we're gonna go for a walk now. <laughs> you just never know what's gonna happen. No, I mean, idiots and cars are everywhere. I mean, if we were in that other lane, we would have gotten rear-ended. Uh-huh. We'd be having a different conversation right now. Yeah. My <laughs> brand new truck, oh, I'd be so pissed. I will say two things. Yes, he'd be very angry. And two, unfortunately, it wouldn't be the first time we had a new brand new car totaled within a few weeks of owning it. I don't want to do that again. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go get some steps in and then have dinner. I'll be hey back. Hey guys, good morning. It is Saturday morning, September 2nd. I forgot until today to do my monthly posts in my Facebook group and also over in Patreon. <laughs> I just remembered this morning. So I did them just now, I took some time and did them now. Bob is over at the kids' house helping them with construction. As far as I'm aware, I'm off duty <laughs> from babysitting today, unless I get a phone call. And um, I'm gonna go run a couple of errands. Then we're gonna come back. I'm gonna do some sorting and rearranging a little bit in the art room and work on some projects around here. I've got chores to do, stuff like that. So not a super exciting day, but that's okay. We did start out the day with notification from Ring from a neighbor that there was a whole bunch of police out on the road outside our community, which is weird because although we get a lot of traffic through the community, it's very quiet community. Um, <laughs> the only time you ever see police is when they're handing out traffic tickets. So I don't know what that was about, but yeah. All right. I still don't know what that was about. I asked on social media, but I have no idea. So anyway, we're going to go get a couple errands done and I'll be back. I rearranged a few things in the art room really quick. I got a call from the daughter. Can I go run an errand and pick something up for her? So I got to go do that. Um, but I got some stitching stuff out of the closets over there and over here. And I have a bunch of, you know, leftover yarn that are in their yarn. What, what does my husband call them? Ball socks. <laughs> um, and also mini skeins of mostly like acrylic yarn. So they're in these two baskets here, which is great because I can just grab them, pull some colors when I want to try to use them up. Mostly, I think these are going to become like granny squares and stuff. Um, and then some stitching and blocking supplies down there, ball winding supplies. The big pieces that I need for that are in the closet, which is fine. That's where they kind of should be. And that works much better than what was up there, which is now in the closet, which was a spare sewing machine and a couple other things. They didn't need to be up there. I haven't used them since before we moved. So it's probably time to let them go. But anyway... I'm going to rearrange a couple more things, sit and drink my coconut water, and then I guess go run some errands for the daughter. So I'll be back. Hey guys, so yesterday on the way home from um, going to the dealership for the new truck and doing the couple things we needed to do over there, I think I said on video last night that we saw a hit and run or a smash and dash or whatever you want to call it but in the middle of the freeway and not only did the person responsible leave without stopping but the person they hit followed them so that was interesting I didn't call and let the police know not that that's going to go anywhere then on the way back from picking up a porch pickup for the daughter I did stop at two thrift stores no I didn't buy anything but I blatantly saw someone right in front of me run a red light. Lucky they didn't have an accident. They almost did. And then a couple blocks down the road after that, there's some person in front of me and to the right, who would, the person who was driving, <laughs> waving their arms out the window. I am not sure what was going on with that. Uh, I don't, I don't know. I didn't buy anything at either thrift store and I, feel like I just need to go home now because yeah that's a thing we're gonna go home we're gonna take our pills we're gonna have lunch by we I mean me but by all means if you need to do that you do it too um sit up in the art room and chill I need to go through a stack of books and magazines and I need to work on my sweater that I'm working on 
I also have some thick and chunky yarn that I had and or thrifted. I think three of them are the same color. One is black. I think they'll all go together, but I don't know what to make out of it. So I also need to do some research for possibilities. I think one of the skeins has a label on it, hopefully. But it is a chunky yarn, so anyway. I know. Exciting and riveting. <laughs> I am aware. But anyway. All right. Meanwhile, Mr. Bob is over at the kids' house uh, with my daughter's in-laws. Uh, they, The in-laws are in construction and architecture and all, uh, all three of them are over there framing the new addition along with Polyus. So, well, the men, the guys are all framing. I think um, the other grandmother is babysitting and daughter is working, so. And daughter's in real estate, by the way, here in the state of Oregon. And if you are in the state of Oregon and you need a realtor, let me know, cause I'll hook you up. So there you go. All right, let's go home. I'm hungry and it's very peopley cause it's holiday weekend. So yeah, let's go home. I'll be back. All right, for those that don't know, cause you're new to the channel and you think I just do sewing and needlework. I don't, I do do, I do paint and draw. Some of those paintings you see behind me, most of them are mine. Um, I also like to make, I, I love watercolor primarily, and I like to try experimenting with um, found pigments and pigments from things that I use every day or that I find nearby or on my travels. And I had two items that I had gone through the whole process with and were sitting in a corner of my art room for literally like three months two months I don't even know how long they've been sitting over here in this dark corner on the tool desk um one was some um, red tea and the other one was dandelion flowers and finally today I took them they were plenty dried out believe me and I ground them up I took the tea and I added some butterfly fly pea flowers to it which you can drink and um uh, make tea out of um, but you can also they give you a really pretty like blue color so I added those to the red tea and I got this interesting like dark blue green um, colored paint with it and then the dandelion flowers I got this dark yellowy gold color so and those aren't proper swatches they're just like left over from the mixing so I got finally got that done yay and um <sighs> I started going through some magazine. I got a stash of magazines, you guys. I started going through them. Um, I need to do dishes. I need to clean the kitchen. So I'm going to head downstairs. I'll probably do some crocheting down there. And um, I think there's more magazines down there that I'm, I think I'm going to at some point bring up here and sit in, up here and go through them all. Uh, but anyway, yeah. I got things cleaned and straightened on the table here is strictly my two sewing projects. One I'm currently working on, one I want to work on, and um, the other thing is drying. I've got some travel collage stuff over there on the ironing board I need to work on at some point. I'm not doing any of those today, but I do need to do them at some point. Uh, I think that's it for the minute. I'm going to check in with the husband see how the build is going at the kids' house. Hey guys, it is 7.08 p.m. Bob is on his way home. He should be here any minute. I got a bunch of chores done. I got the pigments that have been sitting for God knows how long done. <laughs> I'm just surprised. Got a few minor things rearranged in the art room to make way for current projects and inspiration. Um, the big fixtures in my room are perfect because when this happens and I'm focusing on something else, I can switch out what's on the fixtures and that's perfect for me. Anyway, I am sitting here listening to some YouTube and working on my sweater and uh, got a couple of little goodies on the counter for Mr. Bob when he gets home for his new truck and it's all good. We've had a good week uh, always and um, enjoying life, enjoying our grandson and all of it. Looking forward to next week. We've got some fun stuff coming up, so stay tuned. And uh, I'll get some creative videos out to you as soon as possible. In the meantime, 
Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Check out the video description for relevant links, ways to support the channel, including my Patre Patreon. Um, we have our own private YouTube channel, a private Facebook chat. I send them links and downloads and stuff all the time. Um, so check that out. And wow, you know what? I even have a happy mail address if you choose. It's all in the video description. But the most important thing is to go out and have a great day. Have a great, great week. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.